Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Giga Meadows, an update to Giga Meadows. Uh, so Giga Meadows, I think, is extremely undervalued, in my opinion, because they have a really, really big nickel mine, and they're valued at 50, uh, $60 million. So essentially, investing into Giga Meadows at $0.85 cents is giving you... Uh, you're buying into a really big mine for sixty million dollars, which is very cheap if you compare it to the other players. So right now, so the right now the Tesla rumor. So Tes the rumor is Tesla could invest into this company or buy it out or give it a big giant contract or help develop its mines. We don't know exactly what. Giga Meadows and Elon Musk are talking about, but one thing I know for sure is Elon Musk needs Class One Nickel. He and Giga Meadows prov can provide Elon Musk with a ton of Class One Nickel. And uh, according to the CEO, he <coughs> he thinks that by twenty twenty one, they should be ready to develop the mine. But again, you know, they haven't gave an update in a long time. Last update was a while ago, so we we have to wait until they give us a new update, which I expect either near the end of October or sometime in November, they will update us on the mine and update us on what is going on with their mine and process. So for now, I'm going to hold out. And I will be camping the stock and I will add on to my position. I, I, I have a position. I sold out a little bit of my stock for profit. But I fully plan to... I still have a big position in this company. But I did sell out a little bit today because I thought the stock was going to crash. But it didn't crash. It just kept going up. So I think... I don't know what the stock price is going to do in the short term. I have no idea, but I do think that this is an opportunity, uh, especially if it keeps going down. The lower it goes, the more of an opportunity it becomes. I truly believe in this company and the, because I truly believe that Elon Musk needs the nickel from this company and I really believe that there is some kind of talks between Giga Meadows and Elon Musk. Why? Because they have the one of the biggest mines in the world and they make class one nickel which elon musk needs so here is a video so this is so if you follow the ev stock channel right just recently like a while ago he came out with a video called if tesla buys piedmont it it's game over so if you like watch this video and you bought some of piedmont stock because you were making an assumption that Tesla was going to buy out Piedmont or uh, maybe contract a deal with Piedmont, you would have been you would have made a lot of money. You would have made off like a bandit because the stock was trading between six to five U.S. dollars. And if you saw that video and you bought some stock, you would uh, you could have got away with almost four or five hundred percent return on investment. Giga Meadows with a deal from Elon Musk, I think it will break this $2. I think it'll go to like 4 or $5 in the future. If Elon Musk invests into this company, gives it a contract, or uh, helps de develop the mine, I think this stock is going to skyrocket and people who bought down here is going to make a ton of money. But this is just pure speculation right now. And... You know you're buying on rumors, and when the news hits, you will you could be potentially making a lot of money. Similar to this, you buy this rumor, and then you sell the news when the stock popped. You would have got away with 400, 500 percent return on investment, and that's a lot of money. So yeah, just saying, right? I mean, this is not financial advice. I'm just saying that there is a possibility that Giga Meadows could be in talks with Tesla. And if this, the, the, if the, if it is true, 
buying down here could give you a huge uh, return on investment. Just saying, not financial advice. And then if we look, if we compare uh, Giga Meadows to FPX Nickel, our Canadian mining company, we could see that uh, FPX Nickel uh, has a market cap of $98 million while Giga has a market cap of $60 million. $40 million less and they have a bigger mine than FPX Nickel. And then if we compare it to Canadian Nickel Mining Company, it's trading at $1.74 and it has a market cap of $120 million which is uh, twice the amount of Giga Meadows and Giga Meadows has a way bigger mine than Canadian Nickel Mine at the moment. So I think that just from the perspective of uh, of comparing it with other undeveloped nickel companies, can uh, Giga Meadows is undervalued, even without a Tesla deal, in my opinion. But you know, I I don't know where the stock price is gonna go. I don't know where the market is gonna take it. Even if it's undervalued, sometimes the market makes absolutely no sense. And it could go down lower. We could see this thing go back to 60 cents. Will it? I don't know. I, I hope so. <laughs> but uh, because I would rather buy when it's down, not when it's up and green and the news hits. Because eventually this company will develop their mine if you wait long enough. Because nickel is needed by Elon Musk. And th this company specifically makes class 1 nickel for specifically... Uh, Elon Musk or uh, Tesla so this is just my update so so highly on highly on stock is traded uh, so it's I it's fully IPO'd and today it's down 12% must suck for people who are holding and thinking that it will skyrocket after the merger and it didn't because big money doesn't want to push it up Nikola Motors, Nikola Motors, apparently big money is still trying to push this stock up. Uh, Cineplex Odeon, I don't know, really have too much to say about that. I, it was my old video clip, yeah, okay. Uh, GPV, no, SPAQ, uh, down 21 cents. LCA is up 8 cents. Tesla is down five dollars and seventy eight cents, one point three nine percent. Not too much to say about that. Uh, Neo is down another fifteen cents. GameStop is up one penny. Uh, Afria is up today. Is neutral. Uh, Nano Dimensions is down two cents after hours twilio is crazy i just just found this i mean i i've seen this company i remember rich rich bought into this company way back in the day when it ipo he bought it at like i believe he bought it at like i don't remember what price he bought it at like 20 25 bucks and then the stock crashed on him and then now the stock is trading at 290 dollars it's crazy. It's just super crazy. This would have been such a big return on investment. And if you look at the market cap, it's still not super ridiculous. It's only forty-one billion dollars, which is it is a little bit ridiculous for a company that makes no profit. But it must be an important company to other companies. That's why it has such a high evaluation. Switchback Energy. Switchback Energy is down three uh three point one eight percent, forty nine cents. Not too much to say about that. Uh, HCAC down five cents after hours. Tesla. I already talked about Tesla. I think Tesla is heading down lower. Uh, Nvidia is down two dollars and twenty four cents. AMD is down another 30 cents after hours. Looks like the market after hours is taking a big hit at the moment. Let's look at the SPY. 
The SPY is down 76 cents, 0.23% after hours. So, yeah, I guess that's making. I guess the market. I guess retail investors are still nervous about the market, and that's why stocks are going down, in my opinion. DPAC uh, down 40 cents. Workhorse is down. Down another 41 cents. So yeah, retail investors are nervous. We'll see what happens Monday. Um, I already talked about Giga, Pit Energy. I'll make another video about that one in the future. Arcomoto. Arcomoto is down uh, up 9 cents after hours. What's Solo doing? Solo. Han Solo. Anyways, Han Solo is trade. It's down two cents after hours. Uh, it's holding its grounds. I, you know, I I'm excited for the the launch for the vehicle. I'm hoping that uh, people who get their vehicles are gonna make YouTube videos about it, reviewing the car. You know, and giving their thoughts. And I wanna. Ho I hope they give some delivery numbers. And not just like, oh, we delivered the cars. How many cars? Well, we don't want to tell you guys. Because that's the way we run, we operate. That could be a total possibility. That would be completely gay if management didn't give out any delivery numbers or production numbers at all. Be, it'd be totally retarded because that gives investors nothing to work off of. Like, absolutely nothing. To work off of so they better give some delivery numbers or I will be extremely pissed off of about the company give, doing such a poor PR job uh, AMD uh, AMD is uh, I already talked about AMD Intel Intel is down six cents anyways that is it for my video thanks for watching subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye